Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I will explain you how to loot more effectively, right? So you might already know that but I hope this tip will still help you because I figured it out how it's more comfortable, right? So as you probably know, you, you have a default key binding with Z to hide and show your loot. And if you hide your loot, instead of clicking labels like here, you can click the orb on the floor, right? So the first step is to use your loot filter to highlight your all the loot, right? So I have my own filter, I will share it in the video description, but you can make your own filter, that's not a problem, just remember to enable the beam, right? This is quite important because if there is no beam, it's really hard to see the orb on the floor, that really helps. Of course, the second trick is to use the caster mastery, Unfortunately, you cannot access it from certain parts, parts of the tree. So yeah, you, you somehow need to get it. Those are here, here, and yeah, and here, right? So yeah, that's that's basically it. You need to somehow find a way to, to the tree. Otherwise, you have to click your chests manually, right? You don't want to do that. Instead, what you want is you, you want to have this node and you want to have your unearth linked to faster casting and all you do is you just stand around chest the, the range is pretty pretty good so you don't need to stay next to chest you don't need to cast over it or you know hover over it all you need to do is get close to the chest and, and keep spamming because you have like 25% 20, chance of activation that that trick so yeah so you just need to keep spamming Y on Earth because it has very low cast time and yeah, and that's it. It can be level one, of course, right? It, the cast time doesn't change. So yeah, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work because there are some obstacles. I'm not sure how that really works, but yeah, sometimes you need to move an inch or something and try again, right? So usually what I do is like, I try to get around chests. So when you activate your your node, it open all of them instead just one and do this again. Like for instance, I could do it here, but it didn't open that one. So it's better to stand here to, to open, right? Same same here, yeah? I'd rather do this here. Oh, actually it was too far. So you can see the range. It's, it's not that huge, but it's sometimes useful to, to correct your position, right? So that's step two, right? Then after you opened your chests, normally you, you just pick with, of course, uh, labels hidden, you, you just left click your mouse, but instead you can bind your left click to a mouse scroll and that's let's say known trick, but I was usually doing that by binding the mouse wheel down to a left click and after playing a lot of Ravaged my finger hurts a bit. So instead of doing that I figured out that instead of you know spamming the scroll down and you know damaging your finger, what you could do is you could bind left click to both mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up. This way, you basically just very quickly switch from mouse wheel down to mouse wheel up. It's not only faster, but it's also less painful for your finger because you're not doing the very same repetitive movement with your finger. Instead, you're doing let's say counter opposite movement and it relaxes your muscle your finger muscles right and stuff so i feel less pain thanks to it and i hope this trick helps you and how do i do that so i use external software for that because it's not possible to bind left click to a mouse wheel down in poe and unfortunately i couldn't do that with my logitech uh, you know software so i had to install xmouse button control this is also cool because you can select the application you have and you know it only activates for this profile so whenever i alt tap and do something in my browser i can still use my wheel up and wheel down to to you know to scroll the page and yeah i think this this is really a game changer right so i've been using wheel down for few leagues that that was already game changer but the wheel up i started using this league and it really helps me and before maybe it wasn't that let's say good or preferable because when you press your scroll down you you are getting disconnects disconnects this is no longer happening in 3.25 i believe this is because they changed the range of 
let's say loot right so now you can loot from further distance i'm not sure if that's the one or they changed something uh, else but i couldn't see anything in the patch notes so i guess that's it anyway i have not got single disconnect this leak using x mouse button and those binds i'm using will up will down you know like a maniac and it doesn't hurt my finger it's quite fast so I think that's that's really good, right? So you can do the same when you are back to your hideout and you want to drop your loot to, to a stash tab, right? So I use quad stash tab because I follow, I mean, I, I collect some data, but yeah, you, you can do the same. Scroll up, scroll down, just put your loot in the stash tab. It's not painful, yeah. If you prefer to use, just scroll down, that's, fa that's fair, but I think you should really try um, also binding the wheel up and that should help. I hope this video was useful. Let me know if you have any question to the to this. Uh, it was that there, there was an answer on the forum that binding a single action to a single bind key like this is legal. So I'm not binding like ten left clicks to a single wheel down, right? I'm just binding one action to one movement. It's just let's say more comfortable to press wheel down, and it's much faster. So. I guess that's a good tip. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Cheers.